Hello everyone, I'd like to spend a few minutes today and talk to you about how you can create a new revision sequence on the platform. To do this, we'll use something called a JSON file. What's that? A JSON, or JavaScript Object Notation file, is a lightweight data interchange format that's easy for people to read and write and is based on a subset of the JavaScript programming language, and it can be worked on by any text editor. To begin the process, we log in as an admin to the Collaborative Spaces Configuration Center in the subsection called Revision Naming Rules. Here we can see all the types of objects that support revisioning. Let's focus in on the physical product for our example and we can see the various default revision masks that are available. It's important to note that extended revision sequences can only be applied to engineering type items. In the Extended Revision Sequence Declaration tab, we can see this is where we import the JSON file. Let's take a look at the JSON file we use today, called example.json. Now this file actually has two separate revision schemes inside, so you can create as many different revision masks, I should say, as you like, and manage them in a single file. Now you can see there's a number of properties that are using to support the definition. If we look in the user documentation, under installation, there's a section called Extended Revision Sequence JSON Syntax that contains a table that defines not only these properties but all the additional ones that you could possibly use as well. Below that, there's a number of additional examples of JSON files as well as the types of output you would get using those file definitions. Let's now import this example JSON into the system. Returning to the Configuration Center, we can choose to import this file. We'll choose the example.json and upload it. During the upload, the system will check the syntax accuracy of the file. If it passes, you'll see this message we see here. So now that we have it, we can now apply it. So returning to the tab for physical products, we can see we now have two additional types, A to H with dash in it and alphabet padding. We'll choose the alphabet padding and apply that. Once we apply it to the system, we'll see a check mark appear for that particular column to the far right, and now it should be active. Let's now verify that the new revision mask is working by creating a new product in the product structure editor. Once we create the product, the system will auto assign the first revision to it. We can see in this case it's assigned dash dash A, so that appears to be correct. Just to validate further, we'll create one new revision on this part and see if it marches forward as we would expect. We generate the new revision and we can see that we get dash dash B. So the mask is working as expected in the system. I hope this tip today was useful to you. And if you have any follow-up questions, please post them in the Novia user community. Thank you.